The chronic fine dust pollution has been on the Moon administration's agenda since the beginning. According to our EG1, the government's plan to tackle the issue include not just tougher rules on emissions from vehicles and factories, but coordinating efforts with neighboring countries as well. Take a look. The OECD ranks South Korea at the very bottom of the 35 advanced nations when it comes to air quality. And to tackle that recurring issue, the government and the ruling Democratic Party held talks over the matter on Monday, promising the people their right to breathe clean air with no carcinogens or harmful substances. And as shown by a joint study conducted by South Korea and NASA, China is responsible for one-third of the fine dust in Korea's air, a reason the government has brought up the issue of international cooperation once again. The government plans to upgrade the fine dust issue to a summit level issue from the current ministerial level and expand it further to an agenda shared among Northeast Asian countries. The ruling party also vowed to clamp down on local firms and institutions regarding the matter. Efforts for a careful scientific study to identify the source of emissions as well as bettering the real-time air management system is necessary. And the ruling party hopes the government swiftly take on the matter to provide the people with the clean air they deserve. The two sides have agreed to upgrade measures on diesel cars and said they're adding more standards for the construction, machinery and shipping industries to cut down their emission levels. These plans, in line with the Moon administration's goal of improving air quality by 30 percent during his term, will be released as a comprehensive set of measures by the Environment Ministry on Tuesday. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.